Yo, what's up guys? It's me again, Captain Blackman here, back with another quick video. In this video, I wanna talk about how females can be your greatest downfall if you allow them to be, all right? Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I just got done watching a video about a guy that used to be a cop, but he got fired from the department because of a female, because of his girlfriend and his girlfriend's mother at that time. Uh, it's been a lot of times in my life when I've allowed, allowed, I've allowed because I'm taking responsibility for this shit as every man should, uh, I've allowed women to bring me down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want y'all to understand that it's not the woman. It's, it's not her. It's the spirit that made, made a home inside of her. All right. If you go back to the creation story in the Bible, uh, the Adam and Eve story in the Bible, it talks about how the serpent came to Eve first. Why do you think the serpent came to Eve first? The snake, a.k.a. Satan, the spirit of Satan, came to Eve first because she was the weaker vessel. She came from Adam. She didn't know what Adam knew. She was supposed to follow Adam, but she got distracted with the fucking snake, right? So the snake came along, said what he said, convinced her, deceived her, convinced her that, you know what? You don't have to follow Adam. You know what? You can be just like Adam. You can do what Adam does. You know what I'm saying? Why Why are you following Adam? He following the most high God. You can do what you want. You know what I'm saying? She allowed herself to be deceived. And guess what she did? She convinced Adam and Adam looked away from the most high God and started focusing on what Eve was talking about. Allowed himself. Again, we holding ourselves responsible. He allowed himself to be deceived by Eve, right? She became his God. She, he became subject to Eve, right? And at the same time, Satan became his God. You know, in the world, we have been in a fallen state as human beings ever since. You know what I'm saying? So with all of that being said, it can happen in your life here today. You know, that's why you always got to follow the most high. You got to have your, your head. You have to be looking upward. You know, you can't be worshiping your woman and listening to her and following her. Because if you do, you end up becoming subject to the woman and the emotionalism you take on and you end up acting out in an emotional way that don't even work for us men. We represent the masculine fucking principle. Women represent the feminine principle. You have no business reacting to situations like a damn female. Why? Because it gets you nowhere. It destroys you. All right. I was watching a video about the guy that lost his damn job as a police officer. Why did he lose his job? Well, when they was on vacation in the Dominican Republic, I guess he saw some shit in her phone that he didn't like. He allowed his emotions to cloud his judgment and get the best of him. And he smashed her phone into 15,000 pieces. Well, when they got back to the United States, she told her mother the situation. And you already know how women are. Nine and a half times out of ten, they're going to paint the situation in a way that makes them look like the fucking victim. Right? To, to maintain their innocence. I've had it happen to me. All right? Because to women, accountability, accountability is like kryptonite. Right? I had it happen to me. I had a woman cheat on me. It was just straight up. She cheated on me. Went through her phone, found out she was doing dirt, kicked the ass out. Well, she couldn't explain why she got kicked out, right? She just couldn't hold herself accountable. So she told everybody, her coworkers, her mother, everybody, her friends, that it was me. She painted the situation to make herself look like a victim. Had motherfuckers telling her, oh, I'm going, I'm here for you if you need me. Whole time, she the motherfucking snake. You feel what I'm saying? Women can't hold themselves accountable. And yes, I'm going on a fucking tangent right now. So listen up. I had a woman over my house about two days ago, right? New Year's Day Eve. It was New Year's Eve. She had her phone on the charger. She went over there to get her phone off the charger. I don't know how she did it, but she pulled the entire power strip out the wall. I get back home because I left to go to the store. This bitch said, oh, it's dark in the bedroom because, you know, my lamp was connected to the power strip. It's dark in there because the cord came undone out the wall. I'm like, what? In my head, I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? 
Because I'm a logical thinker. I'm like, it didn't come undone by it fucking self. You telling me an earthquake did that shit? I didn't feel it. I was around the street at the store. Bitch. Fuck that supposed to mean. I said that in my head, though. I didn't say it to her. So I asked her. I was like, what do you mean? It came undone out the wall. It came undone out the wall. I was like, did you call something to make it become unplugged? And she was, she couldn't admit it. It was like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with women. She just could not admit it. So I had to chastise her like a child. So it came undone because you unplugged your phone off the charger and you pulled it and it came undone. She was like, yeah. Like, what the hell? It's just how they are. You feel what I'm saying? So let me get back to the story of the guy that lost his job as a cop. Well, the daughter, his girlfriend, they came back to the United States. She ran her fucking mouth to her mother. And keep in mind, her mother was the reason why he got a job as a police officer in the first place. Because she knew a lot of people, right? So the mother went on the behalf of her daughter to internal affairs, right? Slide, snitched, whatever the case may be. A few months later, uh, he get fired. About five or six month, months later, he get fired. Keep in mind, they weren't even together after that. After the vacation in the Dominican Republic, they parted ways, right? He went and got him a new car. He lost that shit. Got it repossessed because he lost his damn job. You feel what I'm saying? Went from being a police officer to a trash man. You know? It happens. Why? Because you allow it as a man. You can't allow these bitches to come in and infiltrate what the fuck you got going on. Because they will. And it's not them. It's the spirit inside of them. That spirit is inside of my mother. That spirit is inside of the women that I date. I know it is. I know what to look for. I know how to see women. See, that's the issue with most of us men. We look at women, but we don't see them. What's the difference? There's a big difference between you looking at a woman and seeing a woman. When you see a woman, you see her character. You pick up on all the red flags. You can't pick up on the red flags if you're only looking at the physical representation of the female that's before you, bro. Always keep that in mind. There is a difference. You look at that ass. You look at that face. You look at them titties. But you see her character. You see her actions, right? A woman becoming your greatest downfall it happens because you allow it. I've seen it happen to a lot of friends, a lot of male family members. You don't want that to happen to you, all right? So if you're a guy watching this video and you're dating or you're looking for a girlfriend or a wife or a woman to create a family with, your, your quest to find a good woman that's going to compliment your life and be a good girlfriend or a good wife, your quest can't stop at what you look at. If your quest stops at what you look at, you'll end up in a relationship with a very attractive demon. All right, she's beautiful on the outside, but she has an ugly ass heart. You don't wanna be in a relationship with that. You don't wanna be married to that. You don't wanna be sleeping next to the enemy. All right, it's a lot of guys right now, they got married to the woman because she had a beautiful body, good pussy, had sex with her, impregnated her. She's beautiful, but she's an ugly hearted demon. Nasty, snarling fucking demon. Ancient fucking evil spirit. You sleep next to this bitch every night. She plotting on your downfall. And it's because your quest to find a good woman stopped at what you was looking at. All right. Sorry your daddy didn't teach you this shit. All right, if you're a guy watching this video and you, you in your 30s and 40s and 50s, it ain't too late for you, bro. Better late than never. So that's my video. Don't allow these women to bring you down because of, it's the spirit inside of them that seeks to destroy anything that, pits, that pisses against the wall. Always remember that shit. It's the spirit that makes a home inside of a woman, inside of a female that seeks to destroy anything anything that pisses against the wall that's why you got to watch women around your kids they will destroy them especially the male kids they will create your kids and their image emotionalize the shit out of the boys and when the boys get older they're going to do some dumb shit that land them in prison for 35 years so that's my video like comment and subscribe 
Let me know what y'all guys want to see next. If you got a question, leave it in the comment section or DM me on Instagram or TikTok at Captain Blackman. I catch you guys in the next video. Y'all guys keep shit player, stay alpha, and stay dangerous. Oh,